All right, you, you you made mention of you know foreign and Western culture, and that leads me to you know something completely separate from boxing, right? But no allows, right? Um, track runner, track star. You know he went out there and he really singled out the NBA and and pointed out the NBA and said he's tired of them calling themselves world champions. What world champions are they? Like who are they defeating to be world champions, right? Mm-hmm. So. I guess I want to hear your thoughts on that, and then I'll, I'll kind of tell you the questions I have. So what are your thoughts on that statement that he made? When he first said it, it kind of just had me think, because I never thought of it like that, right? And I, and I was like, yeah, they do call themselves world champions. And I kind of and, and I just looked at it from face value, his statement, and I kind of – I would have to agree with him. Like, I think it's obvious that, you know, competing in the U.S., for a championship don't and you win a ring doesn't necessarily make you world champions regardless of how great the nba is whether the org the organization itself is the best organization in the world and are comprised of the best players in the world still you are not competing worldwide right that's what you got the olympics for the olympics is for world champions and that's a fact you know what i mean and it's not like we never seen uic teams lose to other nations in the Olympics has happened before, you know what I mean? So, mm-hmm. so, so I would have to agree with him too, you know? Um, and I think some of the NBA players just took it to heart as opposed to just being objective and just un- just listening to what he's actually saying. And, and, and they, they were just sensitive about it. But to be honest, I, I, th- I would probably have to agree with him. You know? Okay. I, I may have missed this part. And if I did someone in the comments, please, you know, like, clarify it for me but why did he single out the nba why why not know. nfl or mlb you know who are also world champions world, world series, series yeah. champions so w- what is it about the nba that ticked them off that he had to go directly at the nba and no other sport here in the u.s who called themselves world champions you know what i'm saying i i didn't catch that part and i don't know if you did as well yeah um to be quite honest i don't know i don't know if it's like if, if he was because I only just took the, the sound bite of what he was saying. I didn't necessarily see uh, if it was based off a question he was asked or was a follow-up. So I don't get, I don't got that context, to be quite mm-hmm. honest with you. Um, and I guess when it comes to it's, – it's also hard to say because at the end of the day, like the MLB, NFL, you guys are competing within the U.S., but I would probably say they probably have more of an argument in their case because these sports are only U.S.-based sports, right? So it's not like – you got the Olympics for football. No, that's that's not the case, right? Mm-hmm. If you want to play NFL football, you will come to America to do so, you know? So, but even still, I probably wouldn't go as far to say it's, um, they're world champions either, right? Because it's like that seclusion. But I would say that you have a bit more of an argument in that case, you know, because at least in other nations, they're playing basketball, right? It's an Olympic. Once you have an Olympic sport there where different nations can play, you can't. It's hard to say, you know, you're a world champion when you're just only competing within a certain geographical location, you know. So yeah. Like, but I don't know the context as to, to why he singled out the NBA, to be honest. I don't know. So here's a question, uh, another question for you. And this doesn't – I know this doesn't change the way you feel, but do you think there's any professional team in any league out there that can beat the Denver Nuggets? Uh, to beat the Denver Nuggets in any in any professional basketball league out there, do they have a team that can beat the Denver Nuggets? I want to say no, but I'm also not privy to uh, a lot of these overseas teams as well. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. I I mean, I, no. I, I thought it was weird that he came at the NBA like that, and you know, I guess they're not world champions, but however, it's not the whole world, but there is an international team in the NBA in the Toronto Raptors. So it is a little bit deeper than just national, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but it is only Canada, though. You know what I mean? So it's not like they're including other nations, too. You know what I mean? And I think what makes it complicated is because when the Olympics come around, these teams that do play in it, these players that play in the NBA, they play for their home teams as well. Mm-hmm. So, like, does that, does that like, matter as well? Like, that, that's, that's, that's tough, like, because Luca ain't going to be playing for, for a USA team. You know, right. what I mean? Giannis is not going to be playing for the USA team. Yeah. So it's 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 tough because, but they're playing in the NBA though. So it's yeah. and it, it's. Oh. And I think what's crazy too oh. right now, arguably, 
maybe, you know, this and this is not consensus, but arguably maybe four of the top five or so best players are considered international players. So there's such a huge international presence. You know, you know what I'm saying? And I, I, say, I don't I get what you mean. I want to say, oh, okay, you're saying like in terms of like talent, like those specific because I think most of the NBA is still made up of Americans. But I'm I'm just talking about like the the creme de la creme, right? The the people who 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 I think the mate like if there was a poll, I think most people would vote these people at towards the top of like best player, right? And I, I think in the top five, I think most of those players are foreign players. Okay. Right, right. I, I think most people will vote Jokic, Luca. This is whether I or you agree or not. People yeah. will vote Jokic, Luca, Giannis. That's true. That's true. I think Steph is still up there, who's, you know, of course, U.S., but possibly Embiid as well. But definitely those first three, I think people will vote. Yeah, I agree. Jokic, I agree. Luka, you know what I'm saying? So it's like there's such a huge international presence. I don't know if that has anything to do with why it's called world champion, because it's probably always been called that, you know, long before we were even born. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I don't know if it's if it's to ingratiate that overseas and foreign culture or if it's just oh, or it's just, you know, we don't give a damn. You know, we're the US, so we're gonna call it whatever we want. And I can see the US being that cocky, you know. Yeah, that, and that's a good point, right? Um the reason why they call themselves world champions is probably because you know, there are you know overseas players playing in the NBA competing, and these overseas players are like you mentioned, the top of the you know, phenomenal. Like, phenomenal players so these are the best coming from your country coming to play in the nba and they're also competing and you got to still win a championship right so so i i can understand that part you know for sure it's just tough because it's like when when you see other because then it's what it does is it basically states that there's no team overseas whatsoever no matter if they comprise them could be a world championship team right and and I've in in my mentality, right? Especially when I look, I'm looking from a lens of like watching. Even though the the redeemed team won a chip, that shit was a close game against the best players in the fucking world, bro. And and it was getting dominated by Pau Gasol, Mark Gasol, even um what was the guard's name before he he ended up getting out the game? He was cooking. Um, it, are you referring to Ricky Rubio? No, not Ricky Rubio. Um. Oh, I forget his name. Someone in the comments is going to probably drop it, but he was he was cooking, and where Kobe was like, "I want him. I want to guard him." His last name Fernandez. Yes, but yo, if you look at that roster, yo, clearly the the redeem team was better talent wise. But sometimes, if they come with a good game plan, they can upset another team. You know what I mean? So it's so it's mm-hmm. tough. But then again, it's 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 hard to say because these are the same players that also played in the NBA as well. So it's like. You yeah, know what I mean? so the, yes. the, the the reason I actually about a team in another league is because Rashawn McCants was on Gilbert Arena's podcast and he was like, he had a team, the team he played on in Lebanon would probably beat the Denver Nuggets. You know what I'm saying? He's delusional though. Yo, he, he's delusional. Like he's yo, this oh, like he bro, yells and thinks he's right. And it's like, bro, you like you fell out the league early for a reason, and I, I haven't seen your team in Lebanon. But I'm prone to believe you are one of the top players, if not the top player. And there's several players on the Denver Nuggets that you couldn't compete with right now. You know what I'm saying? Or at your peak. So it's very hard for me to believe that a team in Lebanon featuring you as one of the focal point would beat or even give the Denver Nuggets a real run for their money. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, I ain't going to lie, but at the end of the day... The NBA, you know, they call themselves world champions, I guess, for a reason. And, and and it's a good case that they can be almost every team in the world. That I that's what I want to believe, right? Yeah. Doesn't just because I believe it don't make it true. You know what I mean? Right, so, right, right, right. I mean, I, I want to see what, what comes of this because there's a lot of back and forth. And I also want to know why he singled out the NBA in the world. Yeah. Sport. So I'm, I'm going to do some research on that, see what we come up with. And I'm going to keep, you know, my eye on the little Twitter war going back and forth right now. So um, it definitely in the comments, tell us, should the, should the Denver Nuggets be considered world champ? Should any other NBA championship team be considered world champions? Should any just American sports team be considered world champions? Or are they just champions of, I guess, what, what would that make them? A national champion? Yeah, national champions. Cause should just they just be considered them. national yeah. champions, you know? Um, so tell us what you think. Like, comment, subscribe, two cents short of a dollar, and we're out.